Ethiopian Prime Minister Meles Zenawi has been put to rest. The state funeral might have taken place thousands of kilometers away, but this did not stop Ethiopians worldwide from catching a glimpse of the burial procession. Ethiopians living in Zambia also took time to watch the state funeral on their television sets, joining dozens who witnessed the burial of that country's long-serving Prime Minister who died last month. Community chairperson of Ethiopians residing in Zambia, Netsanet Tamara, says the predicament that has befallen her country is a setback on socio-economic growth. African leaders, they are talking one, one word, all of them, to say he was African also, he was African son also. So I really appreciate all the African leaders and the one all, all over the world they go and they bury him. I don't have any word to say it. It is really deeply sad. He was our hero, he was our father, he was our leader, he was our everything. And uh, whatever his view, we want to continue, we want to support our country on behalf of the Zambian community. Tita Ijembiri and other Ethiopian nationals also shared the views on the untimely demise of Mr. Zenawi. I was really ambition and was thinking of the country and all over African. And they said, this man is not only for Ethiopia, even for African and for all continental. And I'm very, very happy. The ceremony was unbelievable. And I really want to say thank you for the whole world, for Africa, for Zambia, for everyone who attended his state funeral. So he died and today he's going to bury, but his name, it will be always there, generation to generation. He was a fighter about, for freedom. He, when he was in, when he was in, in power, he changed so many things in Ethiopia. School, hospitals, he was building. With me, myself, I graduated by general mechanics. I didn't pay anything for government because of him. This is the first state funeral for Ethiopia in more than eight years. The last Ethiopian leader to be honored with the state funeral was the Empress Zanditu in 1930. Mr. Zenawi died at 57 in Brussels following a long illness. He came to power in 1991 and was credited for bringing development and growth to Ethiopia. For many Ethiopians in the diaspora, the legacy of the late Prime Minister lives on. Clive Kalunga, Movie TV News in Lusaka.